Hello everyone and welcome to FS19. Um, we're going to carry on unloading the bales that I was doing in the live stream from yesterday. Um, so I'm not sure whether I'll edit any of that out or if I'll do the whole bale thing and you guys can just watch. I'm not sure what everyone wants to watch, but um, that's kind of what we're going to do today. This is obviously our house if you haven't seen it. Um, that's pretty much all you can go in. That's all you can really do. And you can sleep in that room. And then you can come outside. Um, but for the guys that haven't seen the stream or anything, this is literally our house. Jay-Z's farm is um, somewhere over a hill over there somewhere. Um, so this is the multiplayer map. But um, we're going to do our few jobs that we didn't quite get done yesterday. This is our dog. I haven't really come up with a name for him yet. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Um, give him some food while we're here. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to get into. Uh, you're going to stay there, I hope. Let's just check. Yep, he's going to stay there. That's good. Um, so we're going to go over the main bit of the farm and we'll um, we'll start the bailing. So we'll jump in the buggy and we'll head over that way. Um, but for the guys that haven't seen, that is our that's our ute pickup, whatever you want to call it. I do. We don't have any horses yet, but I do have a horse float. Um, so let's start this bad boy up. I love this thing. So we'll head over to the main part of the farm. This thing has a fair bit of power and speed, so it's pretty nice. It does do like 97, but um, we're not going to probably go that fast just to get up here. So at the moment, this is the main part of the Xena Gaming Farm. Um, this is kind of where everything's based out of at the moment. So we're probably going to go ahead and park the buggy in here. Like I said, I might edit some of the video out um, in terms of all the um, stacking of the bales, but I may not, it just depends. I don't know if you guys want to watch it all, so maybe leave that in the comments if you would prefer that. I don't know, but um, it's kind of what we're going to do. We stacked them like this yesterday in the stream. Um, I kind of wish I'd probably stacked them you know, up the other way and how they would normally go in a barn, but I figured it'd probably be a little bit too hard for FS, so we'll, we'll go with that. I mean, when we do some more bales, we might try it the other way, but um, let's go and get into it. We're going to take the Johnny. Big old John Deere. Got a few bales just lying around here, so we're going to clean them up first. So we get used to the driving physics again. They've changed a little bit. The bales do seem to sit on the um, spikes a lot better than in previous farming simulators. They seem to be a lot more, I don't know, just feel a bit heavier and they just seem to stay on there better. So that's a good thing. I'm glad they fixed that. Nothing worse than driving around and the bales would come flying off. Make sure they're tight. We nearly just ran over the bale spikes back there, but that's okay. It is what it is. I'm a big fan of this John Deere. I drive one of these in real life, so it's nice having the same model in the game. It's a very nice thing. So this is pretty much what the recording will be of, guys. It will be just unloading the bales and putting them in the barn. and um, Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Take our first one off the second load of the trailer. We did do a lot of this yesterday in the stream, but we're just finishing up now. Just putting them away, making it look tidy. And all that good stuff. I 
kind of want to as close as I can to the other ones. We might have to do a bit of a push here soon. Fix my camera view. One bale down. We're gonna have to nudge these ones over just a fraction. I reckon is what's gonna happen here. Which is okay. up this part of the shed and we'll just move these ones over a little bit. Just make it so they're a little bit tighter together. That's pretty much how we want them. As you can see, you got all the foot, the foot pedals work, the arm, it even moves like that and side to side. So a lot of work's gone into the tractors. They, they've done a really, really good job, Farming Sim did this time. They made all the glass and all that like that, just looks more like glass instead of plastic and stuff, and it all looks metally and they just did a really good job, guys. I have to nudge that bale just to straighten it a bit. Which is okay. Nothing we can't fix. I'm just going to straighten this bale out, guys. There we go. That's better. So for the guys that didn't see the stream, these bales were actually made on Jay-Z's part of the farm. And then... Um, so we're kind of doing it multiplayer, where this is my farm, he has his farm, but we pay each other to help each other and... Um, stuff like that so he harvested some wheat or barley I can't remember which one it was and then I paid him to go and bale it so I bailed it all myself which saved me a little bit of money but I still paid him because I still took his leftover material I guess so um, it's cool being able to really like do contract work and do stuff like that like you can have your own farm but still really work together and like, it's just more legitimate. It's it's a lot better. Probably should have stacked up top, actually. I don't think we're going to reach now, though. Yeah, that was a... That was a fuck-up. It was a very big fuck-up. Oh well.
Oh well, we'll fix that for next time. I forgot I was going four high there. That bale's a bit angled for whatever reason. That pole likes to fuck up the camera angle. That's okay though. Alright, so we'll, ta we'll start taking the ones off the trailer from the far side. For some reason, a few of these are angled funny. But oh well. We all manage. And just like that, we're getting it done. I like to grip a little bit to the other bales, but that's okay. As long as you're gentle, they should come off pretty nicely. We'll get one more on that top road there, and then we'll go two more up top. Should work out nicely. Alright, we're going to go too high now guys. Bales are going a little funny there on the trailer. Right, we're pretty much right there on the bar on the track though. Got to gently go there, take it slowly. Now that was as far as the loader left, so that's why we had to be a little bit more gentle, gentle on that one. Because we don't want to reverse out too fast and then pull everything down, because then we have to restack it, so... It's the best to do it slow and properly and then... Hopefully you will, you'll have less issues and you'll get it done quicker, hopefully.
And just like that. I don't know what's going up there on up there at the front of this trailer. Bales are just doing their own thing. Must have been a little tight together. That bale was not happy with that. Alright, we got a couple of bales this time, guys. Can I get it just a little bit quicker? Sometimes two works and then sometimes it doesn't as well. Sometimes it's just worse and it's quicker just to take one at a time, but I thought we would try it. It does work in real life a lot better than it does in this game. I'm not gonna lie. Nope, fix my camera, thank you. Oh, bloody pole. Yeah, it works a lot better in real life, but that'll do it. We'll get this one off the top here. See how the, the spike actually goes through like that? I don't remember seeing that ever in 17, but I refuse to really do bales like round ones because... The physics were just too horrible to cart bales with. They've improved a lot now, so it's a lot more enjoyable. Which is good. We'll add this one to the heap. Just starting to get tighter and tighter because of this hole. And we're going to be stuck on that little bit of edge, that's nice. Not what I want at all. We might have to do the same thing as we did earlier and just um, come from the side there and nudge them over a little bit. That camera is just annoying. What if we go this way? No, just don't want to come off. Okay. There we go. So 
So we'll probably try and strain that row a bit, guys, and push it over a little bit with this bale here. So like we did before, we'll just drive up here again. See how there's a gap like that? We can pretty much push that um, back to normal wide, just pushing them at the front with the bales, but I kind of just want to push it over a little bit. So that's all I really wanted to do there. Alright guys, we're going to try and do two bales again at once. Um, we're about to find out how this will go. So this will be interesting. Now this is quite heavy in real life, two bales on the front. It is doable though. Especially by a tractor like this. It should just come out hopefully. And they're on. Didn't work too badly at all. Alright guys, we're going to start stacking up high again. Make sure they're nice and tight. There we go. We might try the two bale trick again. These two look like they're kind of nicely put together. Actually the two back two look a lot better. So we'll grab them. Gonna fix my camera, there we go. That pole is really annoying. Alright, let's try and get these forks out without causing too much drama would be lovely. Stay there. There we go. And then I think we've got three left. We'll probably just start a row down the... Oh no, we'll put these two on top actually. And go up nice and high. Go around the pole. We'll chuck one more up there and one more down the bottom and we're done unloading this trailer.
Hmm, this one doesn't really want to stay up there. We might have to push these two down a little bit. Push them in a little bit so we can get forward a bit more. They're also going to go lower. We might have to push that bale there too. Fix the camera. Get around the pole, get around the pole. Nope, there we go. The pole gets the camera every time. Every damn time. See how we go this time. There we go. And then we've got our lucky last bale. And we'll just chuck this one down the bottom. Probably chuck this one like literally right here. Wait for our camera. Uh, we're stuck on that. I don't know why there's. Maybe it's for gates or something. I don't I find them just annoying those little steel bits that hang out. Well, that's just me. Let's chuck him there. And that's gonna do it for the the bale stacking guys. That's all done and dusted. That's literally all we wanted to do. We'll go ahead and um shut this trailer down with the hydraulics. Um, this is another cool feature. See all these hydraulic hoses? And they actually connect to the tractor. So they're actually in there. So that's another cool thing. Start this bad boy up. Close that. Oh, okay. What's going on here? Apparently there's still bales on it, apparently. Now there's not. Let's try and straighten the wheels really quick. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Nope. Try again. Hmm. Well, that seems like a bug. Alright. <laughs> Alright, guys. That's interesting. But, um, that is going to do it for this episode of Farming Simulator. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm not sure what's up with that. Looks like there may be a bug with the trailer, I guess, maybe. I'm not really sure. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.